When considering the proper display size for your AV solution, it's important to consider three things. The physical space where the display is going to live. How far can my furthest viewer be? And what is the content that is going to be viewed on that display? Let's take a look at a few examples of what I mean. As far as physical space, I want to ensure I get a display that is the appropriate size for the environment. I need to ensure my display size fits floor to ceiling and left to right. Many people say, bigger is better, but this isn't always the case. In some rooms, things like low ceilings and obstructions, poles and columns might be in the way and a bigger display might have an obstructed view. Let's take a look at this conference room. This room has a nine foot ceiling. If I try to fill the wall with the biggest display possible and go nine feet from floor to ceiling, well, the bottom half of the display might not even be viewable. But if I put a small flat panel in this room, it might not be readable by the furthest viewer. So that brings me to my next consideration, furthest viewer. In any room, I have a closest and a furthest viewer. I want to make sure that when I design a display or when I design a display system, that my furthest viewer can see the content on the display. I want to make sure that the display is large enough so all the way back, I don't have to squint or, or crane my neck or, or do weird things. I want my furthest viewer to be comfortable and be able to easily discern the information that's on the display. So that brings me to my next point. The, the things on the display, the source of content, how large or how small is my content on the display? I can have a huge display with tiny content and I won't be able to see it where my furthest viewer is sitting. Or I can have a small little tiny display on the wall with big content and now my furthest viewer can see but I don't have a lot of real estate to put that on. So I want to make sure that my content is viewable but I need to ensure my display has enough size to view the real estate of the content and all these things kind of cycle together. The physical size of the wall, the furthest viewer, the content on the screen. So let's look at a few of these things in depth. Now for physical space constraint, I need to make sure that my planned space is large enough for the display needed. I also need to make sure my environment is right for that type of display. If it's a really bright environment, I might not consider putting a projector in there, something more like an emissive display, a flat panel, or even an LED wall. If it's a larger space and I have controllable lighting, I might put something in there like a projector, something that I can get a lot more space for my dollar. Uh, but size is always a big, a big concern. Is the display going to be too large for the room? Is the display going to be too small for the room? Or is that display going to be just right? Along with physical area of where I'm going to put my display, another thing that's really hard to change is that furthest viewer. If we have a fixed length for our room and we have fixed seating, usually that furthest viewer is going to be pretty much a fixed distance. Uh, sometimes we might be able to section off seats if the content is smaller or if the, the words are smaller. But for most situations, our furthest viewer is going to be a fixed distance. So that's really going to take into account the size, of the, the, the size of the display and the content that's on it and the balance between the size and that content. So when we talk about content, here's a couple things we want to consider. How big is the element, the thing I'm actually looking at on that display? Uh, some programs scale. They make the content the same size no matter what screen, no matter what resolution you're on. But there are many programs that will change the size of the content with that resolution. If I'm looking at a Word document on a 4K screen, the native resolution, the native font on that screen is going to be really small. Excel spreadsheets, really small. But if I'm looking at something like a PowerPoint that scales, the content's going to stay the same. So when I'm looking at content, I want to make sure that no matter what the size of the display is, if it's a small display, if it's a large display, that the content size is discernible for the furthest viewer. This is why content really plays into key now because I can adjust the size of the content given my physical strengths, uh, constraints of the room given that physical constraint of the furthest viewer, if my display size is small and I can't get a big display in this very long room, I can bump up that content and help out my clients furthest viewers. These three factors 
play an important part on how we select our display sizes and content for our clients. If you're curious or want to know more about how to size your display, you can visit our Discus Calculator at avixa.org.